We've been traveling around Mexico for the past few weeks. We visited Mexico City, Puerto Vallarta, Tulum, and Bacala. Those videos are linked below if you haven't watched them already. But now it's time for us to take things a little slower, establish a routine, and get some work done. That's why we've chosen to stay in Playa del Carmen, a popular resort town located on the Caribbean coast of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. It's famous for its beautiful beaches, turquoise waters, and vibrant nightlife. Playa del Carmen is also known for having good infrastructure, an affordable cost of living, a balanced lifestyle, and a growing community of remote workers. This video is part one of our time in Playa del Carmen. Be sure to watch part two after this for our final and honest thoughts about living and working from here. Welcome to Playa del Carmen. We're staying in this cute two-bedroom Airbnb in Fedra Condos, which is a short 10-minute walk from the popular walking street Fifth Avenue. The Airbnb costs around $200 per night, but unfortunately is no longer listed. We'll leave a similar listing in the same area down in the description for you. We think this area was pretty cute and very conveniently located, close to good shops, cafes, restaurants, and co-working facilities. We spent our first evening checking out the famous Fifth Avenue pedestrian promenade which is lined with shops, cafes, and restaurants. Pricing here was admittedly a little expensive, but it was fun to check out. We ended up eating at this place and the meal cost around 500 pesos for Claire and I. We wouldn't recommend staying near this area as it gets very loud and quite busy. Walking down Fifth Avenue was something we actually tried to avoid during our time here because of the way the hawkers and shop owners are constantly harassing the visitors. We have been here for one day. We've been staying here with our friends Alexa and Nate in Airbnb shared with them. But uh, from tomorrow morning, we are homeless. <laughs> this is um, the most last minute accommodation we've ever booked. I actually didn't realize we were leaving yesterday, so I'm uh, shooting my pants a little. Yeah, we're basically just walking around looking for places to stay. I've found something on the internet that might suit our needs. It's literally a block from where we are now. So we are walking to go check out. It's called. So a Nana co-living. So join us as we hunt for accommodation in Mexico. But so far, I must say, walking around isn't feeling too bad. It's tropical vibes and palm trees and nice temperature for now this time of year. It's a sun day, so it's super quiet. Everyone's just quiet. chilling, playing music at home. A lot of things are closed today, so it's probably not a good time. Guys, come oh, and hang out. It's not, it's yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so pretty much it's like you all guys get one like this, and some bedrooms have this one a bit bigger, okay. uh, with more space. Um, yeah, just you get some hangers, okay. and everyone has a desk, a mini fridge as well. The yeah, Wi-Fi. Oh, it's really good. We all, everyone that works like that is here. We're digital nomads, so okay. we really rely on strong Wi-Fi. Same like um, So meetings all the time. So I never had an issue yet. I mean, I only came here a week ago, but everyone else here has been there here for months. Okay. I'm gonna stay here for two months. Okay. Uh, for me, it was eight thousand. Yeah, eight thousand a month, okay. and it doesn't change whether you're one or two person. Mm. And then we all get an AC. Yeah, this is like where we all work, and everyone is Hi. like one. And this is like a communal kitchen. So if you pay an extra thousand uh, pesos, mm -hmm. you can actually like, have your own like mini thing in your oh, yeah. bedroom, and you have oh. a bit more space. But seriously, like I don't feel like you need it. Like I'm, I have been yeah. fine cooking it by myself. You know, there's a lot of spices already available for your everyone, oh, awesome. and then we all get our own like space for our stuff. All right, so that was lucky. There was a resident that came out and showed us around. That's what it's like in one of those co-living places, you know? A little room with everything you need, shared kitchen, shared working area. I Normally like they have the really, there. really, really good internet. So hopefully he has a room. We're going to contact the owner, Louise, on WhatsApp. And let's see if we can get a place there. We've got 11 more days in Playa del Carmen. So hopefully this will be a little base for us to do some work. And then we're going to visit Chichen Itza and a couple cenotes in the area. Ah. Oh. You got nothing for now. No, but it's a really good option if you want to stay here. So this one's 9,000 pesos and it's got its own little kitchen area. 9,000 pesos per month is completely doable. 
just finalizing a booking on booking.com unfortunately Anana did not have any availability for us but he was so helpful over whatsapp i highly recommend if you are in Plyalal common to go to the link in the description for Anana and contact them via whatsapp and just Louise is just gonna help you out he's so awesome he's even offered us to come and co-work in his little garden desk area there for free but unfortunately nothing available for us so we're gonna actually get another place on booking.com and it's pretty cheap it is working out to be 500 rand a night we're checking in there in two nights time so yeah just stay tuned and we'll, we'll show you around it one thing i'm noticing about plow.com common way more affordable in terms of accommodation and way more options i mean this is the day before and we, how many options do we have here? Time to get some tacos thanks to Alexander White's recommendation. This is a laundry place. Woo! Very big laundry place. There's tons of laundry places all around here. I saw the last one, the price was 13 pesos per kilogram. How's the vibes? Hola. <laughs> So that house has been pumping every single day we've walked past it. They've had music playing, having a couple beers outside. They're loving it. And this Palateria in Neveria is an ice cream place. Highly recommend. Over here, pharmacy, everything you need. Barber shops everywhere. Mega store. This neighborhood has it all. This is the place and it is packed with locals and foreigners. That's when you know it's good. Señorito. Señorito. Gracias, muchacho. Eh, gracias. <laughs> this is what I expect when I think of Mexico. Guacamole. Uh, oh, what's it called? This? Pico de gallo. Pico de gallo. Nachos chips. Sauces. <laughs> Coca-Cola in the bottle. Lime. Highly recommend that place. That was very good food. So uh, total was around 630 pesos. It's a very popular place. Its ratings on the Google are very high. The link will be in the description. Yeah, highly recommend. Morning, today is checkout day. From this Airbnb, we're gonna be taking you to breakfast, find a nice digital nomad cafe to work at, until we can check into our new Airbnb. Looking forward to this day. I have to say I'm so happy to have a car on a travel day especially it makes things so much easier we can now just take our bags put it in the boot and drive to a cafe easier than getting ubers then getting dropped off with our luggage then we're like okay what do we do with our luggage now we can just relax with our luggage on us and then check in a bit later hiring a car makes traveling so much easier I tell you pretty proud of myself for driving on the left hand side of the road on the right the left hand side of the car on the right hand side of the road in Mexico Great. turn Just left when yeah I had to go left there huh? do you fine. see the next one's fine We've identified a cafe called Marley Cafe, which is going to be interesting. Apparently it's got a cool Bob Marley theme, but they have the best coffee in town. So I thought let's go try that out. Hopefully they have a good place to work and some good internet too. Otherwise I've got one more lined up if this one fails. It's a bit of a small place, it doesn't seem the most ideal place to do some work. They just got these couches with tables and then over here there's just this one row here. 
I mean, you could do some work there, but those aren't very comfortable either. So I think we'll just grab our coffee here and then move on to the next place. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Gracias. Uh, Thank you. Marley's son, Rowan Marley, actually opened this cafe here in Mexico. He's got cafes, I think, all over the world, but quite a few in Mexico too. See, here we are. Look, look, there's the internet, and there it is in real life. That's pretty cool. Can confirm the coffee is very good though. No Nucolo no is the next spot. <laughs> good vibes. You realize this is a bit of a touristy area. There's a lot of street food on the sides and a nice little fruit stand making smoothies. And we've got this big pile of fruit here for 50 pesos. That's really good. That's the fastest internet we've seen in Mexico so far. This is a cafe, a co-working place and a members club. So specifically made for digital nomads. The cafe in Nkolo, not a bad joint. Big downside, absolutely no outlets to use to charge. And so I guess the idea is you sit there till your computer dies and then you leave. Or you pay the membership fee and go work at the co-working spot next door. Mucho gracias take us to our new home for the next 11 days. Yeah. Looks very nice looks around so here. Modern looks quite nice. modern. Oh yeah. Okay. Okie dokie, art and trucking. Thank you for bringing us. Arasso. There's a bit of open land here and a bit of open land there. Um, but there's a big construction site here and there's one around the corner there's some guys fixing the road here but this is nice don't think the construction will bother us too much hopefully not once we're inside we'll check it out You're Greek style It's gorgeous. It's very pretty. It is. And we left you a couple of beers in the fridge wow. and a jar of water and Thank sodas. So okay. much. Incredible. This is so freaking cute. So just to explain, this is a brand new building here in Playa del Carmen. We're not working with them. We booked this by ourselves. But they're running incredible specials at the moment because they're so new and they're trying to get as many people in to write reviews and stuff. And straight off the bat, the service is incredible and there's so many cute little touches here that they don't charge you extra for. And that's like pretty rare for a place. Like, look at this, we've got like a beach chair and an umbrella. And they've even got a hair dryer, which like so many people don't provide you with. There's coffees, teas, creamers. She says shampoo, mosquito repellent. And she says there's beer and sodas and waters in the fridge for us. I don't know if we have to pay extra for that. It's such a nice cute little kitchen. Brand spanking. I would beer. love to rent this place for like two months. Oh, for sure. <laughs> wow, it's so cool. So we're gonna be showing you two apartments in this building. This is the superior room, super cute because of the bathroom, the bath outside and the hammock. And then we'll move to another room tomorrow and it's super affordable. Pretty chuffed. The only thing is there's a whole bunch of construction around here, but there's noise cancelling in this room. So you actually can't hear it. And then upstairs, I think it's right up here, is the main reason we booked this place. It has an awesome rooftop terrace. Look at that. With a place to work, another hammock to chill, sun tanning. There's even a barbecue area here. What do you think? There's a bright. Yeah. And they give you charcoal. And there's birds. They give you charcoal too? Yeah. Wow. There's bags of charcoal. Amazing. 
a swimming pool up here, but you got the beach like 400 meters away. So we just had a really good nap on that awesome bed and now it's just time to go out to the supermarket for the first time here and try get some groceries for dinner. So we're going to take you with us to go and see what everything costs in this grocery store and what they have in it. back from the grocery store and this is everything we bought and this was $27 around 400 Rand that's not bad yeah, not bad we got two what are these almond milks and rice milks some Doritos some other protein milks cup of noodles nature's valley bars some tea some instant oats some chicken spaghetti and peppers for dinner and some banana and yogurts and some spices. What's the most expensive item? Probably the milk. These? I think so. 70 pesos or two. Yeah. 35. 35 pesos each. That store was actually really well stocked. They had such good fresh produce, pretty decent meat selection, spices, cereals, everything you need. Definitely a lot more than what the selection was in Vietnam and probably in Indonesia. So pretty good here. Tonight I'm making fajitas. Fajitas? But with Pasta instead of rice. Fajitas is like stir fried meat with peppers. The Airbnb came with this olive oil, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Yeah. It's okay. the small things, man. It's the small things. Another small thing about this Airbnb is on every floor, they've got a 20 liter water dispenser just sitting there for you to go and fill up your water bottles so we can have a little jug in the fridge. Just fill up our big bottles whenever we need. We've been like walking to the store to buy bottles like every day since we got to Mexico. Besides those little water dispensers that we saw in the street yeah. Bring those big water bottles and then it's 13 pesos for 20 liters. It's kind of difficult to just get water and no one like just gives you water at the Airbnbs or the hotels. You, you're on your own with that. Goodness everybody, Clary cooked us a delicious meal. Thank you Clary. Yummy! It's actually not that really bad. Thank you! We got some uh, series tonight. It's gonna be the Formula One because we can't get friends in Mexico for some reason. Oh well. One of the pros to staying in Plow.com is its location. It is well situated for exploring other parts of the Yucatan Peninsula, including Tulum, Cancun, and Cozumel. This makes it a great base for those who want to travel and work remotely at the same time. Knowing this, and because we still had our rental car, we decided to head out on a bit of a road trip, which really did not go as planned. Join us in the next video to see why.